Good morning to all my friends and family. You know what time it is, don't you? It's Alice in Wonderland time. You know we do this every April, the whole month. And this is going to be our tea station for one. I only had one black cup, so we're only doing it for one this year. Hopefully next year I can get another black cup and get some beautiful saucers to go with it. So I would love to get a black cup and some red saucers or black and white polka dot ones. Who knows if I'll be able to find them. Believe it or not, this post was free. Yes, free. You know Grandma, she is always looking for something free to share. And everything you're seeing today, I've had for a couple of months or a couple of years. This beautiful heart-shaped teapot I've had probably about four years. Got that from Hobby Lobby and the beautiful miniatures of Alice in Wonderland I probably bought about four years ago too. Uh, they no longer are available to buy. I was one of the last lucky ones to get this set. I bought it at a store that sells miniatures. Because I'm a miniature lover and these things are not for children to play with. These are collectible miniatures. And Grandma is a collector as you can see. The teapot is beautiful and the matching tray was gorgeous. It was also bought at the same time and I think I paid about $25 and I think originally they said it was 50. I would have never spent 50 for it, but I did when it was for 50% off. And the air plants you are seeing, my girlfriend gave those to me, so they're free. And I bought those plant balls, or whatever they're called. I bought them last year, and the Mackenzie Child herb pots were bought last year also. The beautiful red plant in the back far corner was bought last year, and we used it for Alice in Wonderland last year. The red plants in front of it match perfectly, but they were bought this year. And I used them, I think I bought them back in January. And the beautiful white butterflies, I think I bought them in November or December. I love them and I thought they would go with anything I put them with and I was totally correct. And of course, the little jewel hearts coming down, I bought them, I don't know, two or three years ago. And I just love that we put this all together for free, nothing is new everything i've had for a few months or quite a few years and one thing we are collectors of alice in wonderland so anytime we find anything that can be used or repurposed we do and what do you think what was your favorite piece that we shared today was it the beautiful tray with the heart shaped handles and the black and white edges or the beautiful teapot with the black and white polka dots on the spout Oh my gosh, don't you think it's beautiful? And of course, my daughter did a lot of DIY on that back flower arrangement. She put the playing cards on it. Doesn't it look cute? I thought this was such a wonderful display. What do you think? Did you think I nailed it or I should have done something different? I know a lot of these pieces I've been repurposing. Because Grandma doesn't have a lot of money, and she tries to buy high quality pieces and reusing them multiple times does help the cost. Let me know if you thought that's a good idea or not. I'm trying to go more of a high end pieces for my channel. Even though I don't buy huge amounts of dishes, I do tablescapes for two and I do tea for two uh, or one like today, but I don't want to be spending money all the time. So you see a lot of repurposing on this channel along with we do have themes. This is going to be Alice in Wonderland for the whole month and I hope you enjoy seeing what we're going to share. Look at that teacup on top of each other and the plants coming out and the mushrooms. Don't they match perfectly? I just love them. These are some of my favorite things and as you notice I have that little piece of wood. That's a real piece of wood. And as I see things that look like it could be something I could use in my displays, I do use them. Because Grandma always is looking for something for free. So don't forget, when you're out taking a walk, 
if you happen to see something on the ground that looks like you can use it for your channel, pick it up. I have actually found quite a few things that way. I can't believe people just lay things down or throw them away. And I mean really nice pieces. So what do you think of this one? Did you think this turned out pretty good? I hope you did. Now don't forget my dear friends, if you're not already following this channel, think about it. We need a lot more friends in love. We're trying to build up the channel and I am a full supporter. If I have full supporter friends, I give full support back. So we're looking for more full supporters. We need to get our watch time up and I know you do too. So please think about it, my dear friends. We always enjoy having you around. What was your favorite piece? The beautiful white butterflies, Alice and the white rabbit? I don't know. To me, I like them all. I ask why I buy them. I never just have one thing I love. I usually love everything. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to go check out the new channel that we're trying to build. Blossom Your Creativity. As soon as we get 100 views on our videos, we're moving all this type of content over there along with all the DIYs. And all the other posts will still be on the original channel. So please don't worry, there won't be two channels full of content. We put up about 30 to 40 posts every month. So there'll always be plenty of content and I can tell you, we might even think of starting a third channel eventually down the road. Right now, we're just doing two. Grandma just, I know some people say they can't figure out what to make a post about. My problem is I can't stop myself. I am constantly making new posts every day. And I could even put up more with a little help and encouragement.